Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun reading with... Last time, we have learned about the long sound of letters A and E. Can you still remember? Yes, we said that long A has now two sounds. One is the short and long, which is A and A. While the letter E has another two, which are A and E. Today, we will go to the letter I. When letter I is just alone, it would say E, E, E. That's its short sound. But, let's see. The other sound of letter I, which is again its name itself, which is I. Now, how would you know if you're going to give its long sound? And that's what we're going to learn today. We will go to the long I sound. That is I. When the word has letter I in the middle and E at the end, the letter I would now have I sound and letter E doesn't have any power or sound. So you would say, I let us have some examples. Ice, ice, rice, rice. Remember what I told you before that when letter C is with E beside it, the sound will become s. Dice, dice, lies, lies. That should not be on your head, kids. So you keep your hair clean. Mice, mice. Slice, like a slice of cake or a slice of bread. That's slice. Next, let's have nine, nine, vine, vine, line, line. It could be vertical line, horizontal line, or any kind of line. Next, let's have p, p, pine, pine, a pine tree. Wine, wine, k, k, kite, kite, b, bike, bike, p, pike, pike, hike, hike, d, dike, dike. Now when you see I with G and H beside it, so you will also say I will give its long sound like f, fight. Fight, oh, which is not a good thing, kids. You should not fight with others, but make friends with all the people. Next, light, light, er, right. It could be correct or it could be right way or right side. So that's right. Next, when letter I has E beside it, you would also say I like pie. It could be an apple pie, pineapple pie, buko pie, egg pie, that's pie. And then t, t, tie, tie. Children, I just presented to you a few words, but I hope that you would learn how to read words with long I sound. Remember, when are you going to give the long sound of I? Yes, when the word has I and E at the end, when the word has I and G-H together, or when you have I and E beside each other. So when you see that kind of word, you always think of letter I with I sound or its name itself. I hope that you have learned something today. Have fun reading. Bye. Thank you.